Hi everyone, just a quick video to show you the Kramer USM100 by Wega Technologies and carrying out some standard routine thickness checks. So here we have a trusty little DA512 fingertip probe twin crystal. We have a step wedge, step block here, uh, 2 mil, 5 mil and 10 mil. And we're just going to launch the system here now. When you launch a system, it gives you the option of resuming from where you last took off or it gives you the option of launching it. So for this one, we're just going to launch the system and we're going to start this as a fresh because I'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step from start to finish of how to set it up to taking your measurements. So at the very start, you see a panel here, it's called setup. All you really need to do here for the moment is go in and tell the unit probe you're using. I could manually input the frequency, the probe, the probe, the layer probe angle and everything here if I wanted, but that's too much work. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go and I'm going to tell it that, hey, I'm using a DA512 probe, input all the parameters. So probe puts in the delay, puts in the frequency, puts in the effective diameter, gives you everything. Um, outside of that, we could change things on display range, pulse or receiver, things like this, moving the gates, but we don't need to worry about that. When we go to calibration, we can, uh, we don't need to worry about that for this, we just go to calibration now. So if you go to the next panel, which I just done there, it gives a two point cal. So. For this purpose, we are going to set it up as a multi-step because I have a nice little step wedge here. You could do multi-backwell as I showed in another video how you do the multi-backwell calibration, but for this we're going to do multi-step. It gives you tells you what way you want to set it up. So I want to set this up as SRF1 being, let's put this at the low, low side, the 2 mil, and let's put the SRF2 at the high side, which is 10 mil. <clears throat> so, you have the option of cal source a scan we could change that to envelope i'm going to show you that in a different video today we're just going to get the quick standard setup uh, we could also change the data source from like the the peak or the, fla the flank of the of the a scan so but for this purpose we're just going to set it up like this now to start off we're just going to increase the gain up to about let's just go to 45 for a second and we can play with it then afterwards let's close it in to make the screen a bit bigger so obviously too small down here so this little auto XX feature here increases the screen height to 80%. So at the bottom, it tells you what to do. It tells you to put the probe on reference two millimeter. You can't really see that on the screen, unfortunately, but you can trust me. And sorry, auto XX, and then I say calibrate. And then we put it up on the 10 mil reference sample. Again, let's auto 80 it to make sure it's 80% screen height. And we hit calibrate. So it's telling me the velocity of the unit is 5952 and my probe delay is 4.545 and um, if I just go now and take a quick reading it sees it's going up it says 10.03 let's weigh with that now a little bit uh, we'll go 5 and then just to move the gate in we're coming up with 200 dot so then what we can do is we can skip straight down to the data recorder page so the data recorder page is a really handy little tool. So this is basically an Excel sheet for all intents and purposes, and you can input as much data as you want here. So let's say you have uh, an asset you're, you need to check and you need to check, say, let's say it's a pipe and you need to check it at, sorry, no, you need to check it, the number of rows on each hour of the clock. So you need to check, check it in 12 positions around so number rows 12, number of columns, and let's say you need to check that 20 points down the pipe, for example. So now what you have here is, you have down to 12 here and it'll go across to 20. So it just means then, I should have actually done that the other way around. It just means then that uh, you can input the data. Sorry, no, this one here should be 20. So you have 20 points as you can see here, on each asset that you need to do. So you'd start that then is, you would reduce your display range. Let's say the, the, the part is 10 mil. So let's put up the 15 here. And you then move your gate. You can widen that gate if you want just by dragging on one side. So a lot of people ask about this gate. It's a box, they're used for a line. This is the same thing, it's just colored in for easy of seeing. And then you can go down here and hit the record button 
So if you were doing that point, you consistently go along, hit record. I'm just doing this really quick, just put that on. I'm not really too worried about how I'm coupled up here. So let's say for example, let's get a five one in there as well. And what you're seeing here now is the data points are being recorded. And let's say I finish that one. I then will go over to the next section, long hold, and you start to record data here as well. And basically you move along recording data. Very, very simple little tool. It takes the effort of having to handwrite down every reading, which historically we've seen people doing, and even with people with newer equipment are still doing this. So this is a very handy little feature. And then you have the option of just going down and you can generate a report directly off the system. Or if your customer requires you to use their template, but you want to get the data out of it, what you simply do then is you go to, one second I know, uh, export CSV. So I simply tap on this button. It asks me where to save it. If I had the USB in the system here, it gives me the option of the USB. If I tap in here, I don't have a USB, so I can't save it onto it. But you save it onto USB, plug the USB into your laptop, or you can use wireless transfer or things like this. But yeah, that's just a quick and easy way, guys, of how to set up your system and start carrying out some routine checks. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any more questions, please do ask.